Cybos, of course, brings together the finance industry's top executives and thought leaders. We're going to turn our attention now to SWIFT's board of directors as we welcome Graham Monroe, who's the board's chair, and Samantha Emery, deputy chair. Good to see both again. We got a chance to speak at the yeah. opening plenary. Hope you've had a, a good first two days. And thank you for spending some time with us on Cybos TV. I'll start with a question for both of you, but I'm going to aim it at Graham at first. Uh, you stepped into the roles of non-executive chair and deputy chair earlier this year and this is the first time we've all been together at Cyboss, of course. Uh, I wonder if you might like to just introduce yourselves, I guess, more formally uh, to the community while we're here. So Graham, if you could start. With, with pleasure. L lovely to be here, so thanks for inviting us on. My name is Graham Munro. Um, I'm hoping you can tell by my accent that I'm Scottish originally, but I'm actually representing the US um, national group at SWIFT's board. I was elected onto the board at the beginning of this year, so in quarter one, actually joined the board formally in March and was elected to, to chair the board uh, just thereafter. So I've been involved for, for the last six months. It's been a fascinating time. <laughs> I mm -hmm. bet. And Samantha? Yes, equally glad to be here. So thank you very much for the invitation. So I joined the SWIFT board in June 2022 from the UK NMG and I became deputy chair alongside Graham in March. And as he says, fantastic um, cooperative organisation and a lot to look forward to. It's great to have you both here. Uh, we spoke uh, at the opening plenary about how, what a dynamic time it is in the industry. Rapid innovation in areas like digital currency, tokenization, technologies like AI, geopolitical shifts, all of these things together, uh, you know, making the theme of this year very clear, uh, increasing fragmentation. So Graham, now that we're, you know, a couple of days into uh, the, the uh, conference, how are you seeing these big themes coming through? Oh, I, th I think they're everywhere, right? I think every conversation that I've had um, comes back to, to one of those topics. I think the, the whole idea of interoperability, I think, has been referenced many times. I, I think when we think about fragmentation, that, then you can see a, a, a number of new initiatives be, being published. I, I think you can see new partnerships being announced. And I think those are all about the, the shape of the industry as it, as it continues to, to adapt. So you can see those themes playing out every day. I, I was particularly excited to see that earlier in the week, Brian took the opportunity to, to reference our ISO 2022 uh, pro program. So I think that's also, you know, some great recognition of what I think is a game changer from a SWIFT perspective as you begin to think about structured data and as you, as you then work out how to apply or use that structured data, things like artificial intelligence have, have a, a big opportunity to play. So super to see all these themes playing out. Very interesting. Graeme, so much going on out there. It must be difficult to know what to focus on first. Uh, but can I ask what your aspirations are as, as chair and the key areas that focus uh, will want to, that the SWIFT board will want to focus on? And, and we covered some of them earlier in the week already, but it's, it's worthwhile replaying them because I, I think they do really form the, the board's areas of focus as, as we drive forward. So number one, I think we, we would continue to, to think about operational excellence, resiliency, stability. How do we continue to have SWIFT, which I think is already best in class, continue to, to demonstrate that to, to the, the broader world. And, and there are obviously challenges around that as, as you think about areas like cybersecurity, that those, those processes push on further and further. SWIFT has to continue to be very up to date um, to be able to, to tackle that. So operational excellence, number one in, in our list. SWIFT have done a fabulous job over the, the recent past developing new products and services. I think the second area of focus we, we would like to, to see and, uh, and help the organization drive through is taking those new products and services and working out how we can penetrate further into, into the various marketplaces where, where we're using those and really help SWIFT's relevance in terms of changing the, the dynamics and pushing towards our objectives of instant and, and frictionless. Mm. And lastly, we've got some internal work going on at the board as, as we think about positioning the board to be uh, best in class in, in terms of board governance. Uh, everything changes, as, as you know, and the, the board structure at, at SWIFT is, is included with that. Uh, as a board group, we, we're all thinking about how we take our, our uh, board experience to the next level. 
So th those, I think, are, are three really good topics to, to focus on. I think we, we've continued to, to talk about them this week, so we, we, we'll be uh, working on those as, as, as we meet as a board group. Hmm. And we've talked a lot about how you're tapped into the, the ESG agenda, another big topic uh, here uh, for the industry and here at Cyboss. Uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, how you see the SWIFT board and, and the community evolving in this space, and particularly your role as deputy chair as well? Yeah, so I'll pick up the, the second part um, first, if I may. I think I talked at the opening plenary around my career and the time that I've spent looking at innovation, at strategy, at transformation. And one of the points that I really wanted to, to land with the community is the importance and the necessity, especially um, in a world as, as we live in today, of being really tuned in and tapped into the status quo and just understanding as all of those dynamics, as all of, the, uh, all of those drivers that we talked to earlier, as they change and evolve, you understand whether or not that's holding you back, whether the status quo is, is helping or hindering. And I've been really uh, pleased to see what Javier and the team have done in terms of considering this through the lens of business strategy. And so part of what I've been encouraging them to do since becoming deputy chair is to really look to build out on this. And equally, as, as Graham's already alluded to, for us to consider it more broadly as a board as to how it can be viewed through the lenses of things like um, governance and culture to make sure we are well set up for the next 50 years. Mm. And then coming back to your point on ESG, um, a red thread throughout the entire program, which is fantastic. And I think given it has been up, up, up on the business agendas, it's going to be really useful for, for all of the delegation here this week. But again, one of the things that I've been really reflecting on is why ESG is such a natural space for SWIFT to play in. And part of that is just looking back at why people came together in 1973 and it was to bring that group of diverse stakeholders from across the globe together to solve for common problems common challenges and not just because things needed solving but because we needed to build more inclusive and more sustainable economies which is something that sits at the heart of esg so there's a huge role for not just swift um, as a cooperative but the entire community to actually play in moving us forward and taking us further in terms of those ESG goals. And there are a number of ways that that could come to pass. I think we've got a huge opportunity, Graham's, Graham's mentioned ISO 20022 already, to be considering that rich data that we get out of it, how we can be looking at things like um, capital flows in support of climate action and getting better insights and understanding there. We have um, the work that we're doing locally on the, uh, on the board around um, evolving our governance and making sure that we are fit for the future. We have that diversity of skill set. We have that diversity of person that means we're best able to, to serve the community as a whole. And something that I think Javier is extremely passionate about, um, especially as we're facing into these conversations around a fragmented world, is just recognizing the inclusivity that comes with interoperability and the need for us to fiercely defend that to make sure that the global financial services system stays robust, resilient and, and connected. Graeme, Samantha mentioned their rich data on the migration to ISO 20022. Uh, would you like to comment on how do you think the transition is going uh, from a, a wider community perspective at the moment? Yeah, but maybe looking back from here, I, I think we, we should probably recognise Javier and, and his um, executive team as they've delivered ISO 2022. I think this is probably one of the single biggest changes that SWIFT have ever implemented. And when you look back at, at March this year, it happened seamlessly. So first thing is great job in, in terms of you know, delivering this world changing um, foundational platform as, as, as we move up the scale. So fabulous job there. In the, in the six months since we've been live, I think we've moved somewhere in the region of 15% of the, of the global payments volume onto to the new foundational platform. So that's good progress. 
I think we'd like to, to see more. So you, you've heard us several times talking this week as, as we've been trying to encourage the whole community to, to think about how we can navigate to, towards that, that new set of, of structures. And, and the reason for that is to start to realize some of those benefits. Sam has just given a, a fabulous example from, from a, an ESG perspective in terms of how you could interrogate highly structured, high quality data to, to be able to get themes, to be able to get understandings, to, to be able to use that information in a different way. So I think the, the whole ISO program really positions us to, to take the, the um, market industry financial platform that, that we're all sat on today to the next level. And I think there's some great benefits to be to be got from that. So very exciting stuff. Hmm. Sam, some of the priorities of the board, operational excellence, building out future strategies. But another thing that you're obviously quite focused on is innovation. Where does that land on, on the priorities uh, uh, for the board? Uh, so definitely high on the priorities and actually Graham and I were the very happy recipients of some really fascinating work that the Exco have been doing under Javier um, to really set out a strong and ambitious innovation agenda. Fantastic to see. And we've been really humbled um, as, as a board to just consider the role that SWIFT has to play in readying the industry for a world that has CBDCs, that is looking at implementing artificial intelligence in a way that hasn't been leveraged before, as looking at tokenization of most everything. Um, so it's, it's really high up on the agenda. And I think we know these are the buzzwords that are doing the rounds at the moment. They will always get the headlines. They will be in the white papers. Um, they will be in the consultancy PowerPoints. Um, and that's great. But it goes beyond that. We have a whole host of innovation happening beneath the waterline at the layer of the core infrastructure, which is as it should be. And so, again, we, we spoke at the plenary about the fact that operational excellence has to be underpinned by innovation, whether you are looking at how you get ready for the era of, of quantum, um, or you're getting back into some of those ESG topics again, what your data center footprint looks like, your management of moving into the cloud and, and what that means. Um, so it's really, really important. And we come together as a board and I think we will, we will have these points where we are unified in our voice and I think innovation is one of them. I think thoughtful, responsible, sustainable innovation is something that is not only key for us as an organisation, um, but it's critical to the long-term success of both the cooperative, but the community and the wider financial services industry as a whole. Um, so it's high up on the agenda, but it's important that we do it right. Fascinating Absolutely. stuff. Well, it certainly seems like so much is happening in the industry in such a, so a short spell uh, of time at the moment, but it does feel like it is in safe hands. Thank you so much for your, your time, guys, on Cybos TV. Uh, Graham Monroe, Chair of the SWIFT Board, and Samantha Emery, Deputy Chair of the Board. Thank you once again, and enjoy the rest of uh, Cybos 2023. Thank you. Thanks, Janella. Thanks, Johnny.